This is gonna be a super quick prophetic warning. This was given to me yesterday. All throughout the day, the Lord was speaking to me in numbers. And so literally everything that I looked up was in the Strong's Concordance. And um, it wasn't actually fully revealed until today and some of yesterday in my time in prayer. The first number that the Lord gave me was 7171. And when I looked it up in Strong's Concordance, it meant destruction. Obviously, I didn't know what God was speaking. And then he gave me another number and it was... 213 it said to be close to make haste to press and be pressed and i was like what do you mean dis is destruction close you know and he continued to speak to me for another like couple hours he just kept prompting me to different numbers the next one he gave me was 137 and it means a riddle and so i was like okay so you're literally talking to me in riddles um, but that wasn't my thought at the time i thought he was speaking to me about something that i was praying about but instead, we'll get to what he's actually talking about. Then when I was waiting for God to confirm this to me, I saw the number 444, and I looked it up in the Strong's Concordance, and it meant to be morally corrupt. And so we're getting to the word. So then later on yesterday night, around 5 or 6, the Lord prompted me to pray. Literally, like, every time my ear rings, I know that it's a time to go into prayer. And the moment that I went into prayer, I heard the voice of the Lord and he said destruction. And I asked him, what what do you mean by destruction? And he said, evil doers. And so I was like, what does that mean? You know, I looked up the definition of evil doers. And obviously I looked up the definition of morally corrupt. And obviously they went hand in hand. But the definition of morally corrupt means to be dishonest or do illegal things in return for money or power. He said, destruction is here for the morally corrupt, that they will reap what they sowed. According to 2 Samuel 3.39, I am weak today, though anointed king, and these men of the sons of Zariah are too difficult for me. May the Lord repay the evildoer according to his evil. And then immediately after this, I heard the voice of the Lord, and he said to warn them. Now, I don't know if this meant to warn um, non-believers or people in high places, but obviously, like I came to the full revelation, that's exactly what he meant, that we are to be warning non-believers right now more than anything that Jesus is at the door. Last week or two weeks ago, I was in prayer and the Lord said that he is close. I even saw a sign on a back of a van and it said Jesus is coming he also told me in prayer that he is at the door literally all he has to do is just like walk through the door so we want to be telling every single person about Jesus right now also the Lord told me that as soon as this word goes out his anger is going to burst forth if some of you guys don't know today supposedly in Congress or the State Senate I'm not sure what it is because I don't pay attention to politi politics but supposedly today the New Testament has been banned. And so I believe that this is what the Lord was talking about yesterday when I was in prayer. To warn um, those people in high places that the anger of the Lord is against them. And that they will be repaid according to their evil. But also just now when I was on my way home the Lord prompted me to look at a number. And that number is 1572 in the Strong's Concordance. And it says that he is, I blaze out and I am inflamed. It says to kindle or to be inflamed. And so I believe the Lord is saying right now that he is bursting in his anger, that he is angry, he is furious at what is going on in these high places and basically the fact that the New Testament has been banned. So with that being said, if you are a Christian and you are a believer in Jesus Christ, I want you to take this time to pray against this ban. I want you to take the time to fast against this ban. I'm currently already on a fast, so I encourage you yourself to also do a three-day fast, do a three-day Esther fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We know last time that when they were announcing the TikTok fa uh, ban that some people had fasted, and obviously TikTok is still here for us, and so we want, we want to be wise about the tools that God has given us in the Word of God to fast when we need to fast. Obviously when Esther fasted and all the Jews fasted and turned down their plates, the law was changed for them and so we have that exact same right right now. And so everyone should be warning that Jesus is coming soon. You should be evangelizing now more than ever 
even if it's to somebody that God brings to you randomly on the street, randomly at the gym, randomly at the store. And the last thing that the Lord gave me was a scripture. I just saw it on a license plate after the last number that I had seen, and I actually just want to read that really quickly. It's Amos 6, 5 through 9, which is crazy to me because this actually ties in all together. Amos 6, the chapter is called the rulers at ease. The first verse says, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria. If we go back to um, verse 5, it says, Woe to them that chant to the sound of the vial and invent themselves instruments of music like David, that drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. The Lord God hath sworn by himself, saith the Lord, the God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob and hate his power. Palaces. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein, and it shall come to pass. If there remain ten men in one house, that they shall die. Hear me with the word of the Lord. Hear me with by the Spirit. I believe that God is angered, and He will repay these people for their evil deeds, just as He has mentioned in that first scripture that I told you in 1 Samuel was it? 3.39. 339.